Ooh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, big shout out to my doggy, Dylan4865 for coming through and boosting up the coin 100%, all donations are going to the Tyson Fury, sorry, all donations are going to the YB Up This Month campaign featuring Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, you best believe it, 100%, every single piece of coin going into that fund, because we fixing to be up this month. I've been down too long in this gambling game. This month is my month. Do you understand? I ain't playing no more. I'm, I'm done playing with you, man. You, man, don't pay too much. You understand? 100%. So, we got some crazy content right now regarding John Fury. John Fury, headbutting Team Music Camp. Right on his barnet. Right on his nelly. Watch his people. Watch his leak. Ain't no one's seen this before, 100%. Buff. Oh my god. Watch him buff him. He buffed him. Differently as well. Watch this. Peep this, people. Peep this. I get the volume as well for the crack. Buff. See that one? That was a buffer. A proper buff. Oh my god. Buff. Buffed him. Jesus. Buff. That is a madness. A true madness. Buffed him. I mean. I don't even know what to say, but what will be interesting is, obviously it's not the main taking point here, but I am intrigued. What happens with the Saudi authorities now? Because that there, I don't know, that's not a legal move, is it? That's assault in the UK. Them man over there are different. But I'm telling you now, the political class, nothing can happen to John Fury. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah? That's what we know for a fact. Now, as far as John Fury's conduct... It's despicable. But this is the same man who gets his ass out. 50, 60 year old granddad. Great granddad. Gets his ass out on the camera. Talks about bumming KSI. I'm going to bum you. I will bum you. I'll pull your trousers down and bum you. Yeah, so this guy is a man who's been institutionalised. Clearly, not my words. His words. He talking about bumming dudes. Bumming young, impressionable dudes at that. We know KSI, he goofball, right? He impressionable. He's the type of cat who goes to jail and ends up getting talked out of his ass. Do you understand, people? Certain man can go to jail, yeah, and you can talk them out of their out of their ass, essentially. Yeah, you can talk them out of their panties just by running game on them, gaming them. So John Fury come has been institutionalized to be this way. Yeah, that's why he liked to get his butt out. He used to, he's institutionally getting his butt out in the institution in Her Majesty's HMP. Her, modest, her Majesty's prisons. Yeah? Not his fault. And that's what we also see here. Whether he's talking about bumming. Whether he's talking about getting bummed. Or getting his backside out and slapping it. Like he a female. Whether he nutting people. Right in his nelly. Right in his nelly. Watch this again. This for old time's sake. Yeah? Watch this. A young cat too. This cat here looked young. Watch this. Buff. Proper crack as well. John Fury is a big man. Proper and he's got a big old egghead as well. That big old um, what does he weigh? Like 16 stone, do you think? Big old moonhead. Big old 16 stone having ass moonhead. On this young cat here, look. Buff. That's a that's a violation. I'm sorry, that's really aggressive. Watching the head snap back snap back. It's horrible. Someone headbutts you and it lands on your nose, which is where you're supposed to aim for. You don't want to crack someone on their head. It's hard there. You want to go for the nose. It's soft. It's horrible. Horrible. Watch. Buff. Buffed him right on the end of his noggin. Yeah, despicable man, to be honest. Like, if you... Listen. If John Fury was like that, yeah. If John Fury was on site like that, I might let it slide. But the truth is, this only happens when John Fury has a whole bag of man around him, yeah? He likes to be that guy who gets something off and then he knows there's nothing happened to him. Because guess what? When AJ was there, for example... Oh, best... Yeah? He trying to go institutionalised booty warrior on AJ. Trying to suck dude, you understand? So... John Fury is a predator. 
He sees a small guy on U16. He knows he's rolling 50 man deep. And you know them, man. Them bare knuckle man, yeah. They're like dogs. They roll in packs. You understand? They ain't stand on their own. They wouldn't see that as a violation and say, wait there, dad, you do it. If my dad did that, yeah, I'd say, hey, man, you're on your own. Because we ain't moving like that. I'm not going to back something just because it's my family. Yeah? If you do something that's fugazi, that's on you. Yeah? you got to work it out for yourself. You chose to do some dumb shit. I'm not into this whole, well, I know him, so it's okay, kind of thing. If someone in my circle act like a dog, that's on them. Yeah? You need to work your dogged shit out. Don't involve me in it, though. Let's say, I, I, I apply the same thing to me. If I'm involved in some fugazi behaviour, I wouldn't expect people to be backing it. That's how you end up in situations like we find ourselves politically. Because everyone just... Uh, uh, everyone's gonna lick ass, get paid. Yeah? Anyway, like I said, John Fury, he ain't that calibre though. Yeah? Oh, 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 I'm a Christian man. Oh, 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 I'm a Christian man. And oh, Jesus said this. And what part, John, what part of the Bible does it say? Not some dude who ain't even listen, people. Look at this guy. This guy's pinned against the wall, essentially. Look. This dude here is pinned against a wall. You can just see the the narrative here. You got U6 team a couple man deep probably against a wall. So who's the aggressor here? Now listen, people. I'll tell you for free now. Yeah, if John Fury was the one against the wall, yeah, and it was fifty U6 man deep, I'd back this. I'd say, listen, man, you can't back a dog into a corner. I'd respect him for it, right? If we saw John Fury on his wands, or if we saw John Fury with a few cornballs, let's say we saw John Fury with Tommy Fury and Roman Fury, yeah? So it's essentially John on his own. If we saw John Fury on his own, and there's a whole bunch of mob, Usyk mob around him, and he's backed up to the wall, and John Fury thinks, crack, and just crack someone, who, who else wants some? Because sometimes that's how you need to act. Yeah, if there's a group of people around you and it's looking a bit, a bit left, you have to act with overwhelming force so that the rest of the crowd think, "Oh, I don't really fancy that." Yeah, I like my nose. I ain't trying to go to Turkey. I ain't fixing to spend ten bags in Turkey this year. Let me leave this guy alone. He a wild dog. I'd rate it. I'd say, "Listen, man, John was, John was put in a situation he didn't like being in, and he felt like he had no other choice." But that's not the situation here. This dude, the young guy. He pinned against a wall. John Fury's 50 man deep. Yeah. And that's when people like John. John's an insecure goofball. Yeah. People like him feel big when they're 50 man deep. When it's 50 versus 1, people like him, they get they get full of courage. Yeah. They're ready to go then. When they're on their ones, they political. They're trying to be friends. Yeah. When John Fury in front of AJ, he ain't nothing, nothing. He trying to suck dude off. Do you understand? And I'm not even saying AJ's a big gangster, but I'm just I'm just trying to I'm trying to put it out here. Or even if it was, I don't know. Even if it was John Fury knows the crowd is in. Yeah? He knows when he can get away with things like this. Essentially, he knows Team Music are sidemen. Do you understand? He knows that. He knows he can violate one of Team Music and just get away with it, essentially. But anyone else, he's super respectful with it. And that's what I don't like, yeah? If you're a bad man, be bad everywhere. Be bad on your own. Be bad 10 man deep. Be bad all the time. Don't be, don't be picking. Don't be like, ooh, ooh, I've got 50 man behind me. There's security behind me. This guy's on, on his own against a wall. This is an opportunity for me to look hard. Because John, when Mickey Field put it on you, for an actual fight, yeah? For a godly, God-fearing fight in a ring with rules, you know where to be seen. You're talking about money. Yeah? So don't make out you're some dog who just on go, right? Like I said, if John Fury was just a goer, I'd out fight any man, any time. I, I, I knocked out Mickey Fear, I knocked out Joe Egan. Who else wants some? This guy said he wanted some, I'll give it to him. See that one there? If John Fury was just out here reckless, taking... People, we're not asking, John Fury's not being said to fight for free. Yeah? Joe Egan, Mickey Fear, these are $100,000 fights, plus. So John Fury was in there taking all bets, knocking people out, and some Usyk cornball pull up and want some. He wanted some too, I'll give it to him. Mickey Fio got it, Joe Egan got it, and now this goof troop wanted some, he got it. What can I say? I'd say, well man, 
This dude here, he knew, don't be in the presence of John Fury because he bad like that. He on go like that. You ain't that guy though. You'd have got in there when it's all safe. Oh, let's talk about money. What's money got to do with standing on honour? Mickey, Theo, Joe Wiegand call you out your name. Even Paddy, Mado Paddy Doherty called you a punk. You ain't do nothing. Yeah, so it's not really about principles for you. It's about how can I... What's the word I used earlier? How can I predate? Who can I predate on? Yeah? And that's John Fury's character, people. It's an institutionalised character. A pack dog character. Yeah? you got Shane Fury in the back. Let's see what happens after the nut, actually. So he nuts him. He cracks him on the nose. And then John Fury is whisked away. Yeah? John Fury is whisked away. Like, and John Fury is more than happy to get out of it at that point. That's the, you know what I'm saying? John Fury went, watch. John cracks him on his nose and then is whisked away and he's happy to go. He's happy to be pulled off by the Secret Service. Yeah? Essentially. Look, he ha he's more than happy. He, he wanted to get out of there now. He didn't want to be there no more. Yeah, because we know John Fury's chin. Look, now he's posted up from a safe distance. And look, it, 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 unbelievable. And this is what I meant when I said that team music are side men, essentially, because this dude is the victim, yeah? The one who got nutted. And here's the one being harassed. There's no one, there's no secure. And that's what, again, I don't like these structures, people. I don't like these corny corporate structures in place. Just because John Fury is the clout, that's Tyson's dad. That means he can act any type of way. No. Yeah? John Fury was the one escalating things and causing a problem. He was the one pressing a small man against the wall. Why is security whisking? Why, why is security pressing the other guy and has, hustling, bustling him? Like, here's the problem. Do you understand? Why is that? Because all these dudes here, they don't, they don't stand on business. Oh, well, I know John. I know John, so I'll press the other guy. I'll press the victim here. Yeah? Now, John Fury said, oh, well, he was saying a lot of bad things. Well. There's nothing wrong with that. Are you, are you, a, are you a man or, or not, right? Who cares? No one can tell me anything that's going to bother me. Who cares? It's, it's words. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, actually, because John Fury's got a charge already. And I'm pretty sure, like, this, you can't just, I don't know. Jurisdictionally, I think if you do a crime in another country, you can't be prosecuted for it at home. But John Fury's already got a GBA charge or whatever. He's already got an assault charge. So they should be gunning for him right now with this video. I believe so. He a dog. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a dog, yeah. And what do we do with sick dogs? You put them down, 100%. Yeah, let, let John, from what I've seen here, yeah, John need to sit down. Some people say things like this. Oh, I, I wouldn't wish prison on my worst enemy. I would. I've never been prison, but still. I don't need to go prison to know some people need to sit down somewhere in prison. That's good for them as well. Me personally, I'll bring back public hangings. That's how I feel. I ain't trying to spend 30 grand a year to p keep Dusty's eating and smoking spice. <laughs> that's, what, that's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, simple laws. Basic laws. Don't be in other people's business. Yeah, and if you insert yourself into other people's business, expect consequences. Not expect to sit down and get fed every day and get a warm shower and smoke spice. That's not what I call punishment. Yeah? Real punishments you feel in your life. I'd take John Fury's hands clean off. Oops. Yeah? In the Bible it says, if your left eye spites you, or something like that, if your left eye spites you, you strike it out. 100%. And that's what I'll be doing for John. Yeah? If, and I can't, obviously I can't cut his head off, yeah? I might just take one of his eyes out, actually. Yeah? Because you, you'd be doing too much with these. You'll be looking at things, you'll be predating on fit situations and taking advantage. So I'll take your eye out. Yeah, yeah. You can have one eye now. See how you get on with that, buddy. See how aggressive you are now, you can't see shit. <laughs> do you understand? And next time you do it, or this will be his second eye. Because the first GBH charge, or whatever it was, he'd lost his first eye. And now he'd be blind. Yeah, you've lost the right to be able to see shit. Because you ain't doing nothing positive with it anyway. Yeah? Being able to see is a privilege. And you've lost that now by assaulting people who really, okay, he, he talked too much. Was U6 team talking too much, maybe? Again, 
as far as I'm aware, it's freedom of speech. And end of the day, John Fury was not in a situation where he was threatened. He was not in a situation where he couldn't have left. He was the one pressing the guy to a wall. That makes you the aggressor. Now, with that said, I'm all for people responding to things. I don't necessarily believe in free speech, if that makes sense. For example, if I'm walking away from something and some dude, some corny dude, doing too much of this, I believe then it's my right slash obligation to make a dude's day go left. Do you understand? Because it's like, get out of here, what are you doing? Yeah? But this wasn't that situation. No one likes someone, some goofball being antagonising. If you antagonise, expect to get checked, but this wasn't that. Yeah? John Fury is just a predator, essentially. He preys on the weak, unfortunately. And like I said earlier, you can see here, so John Fury's team, or the security, the old kind of harass, U6 guy here, look, look at this, look. This, this big buff, juicy tattoo head, he's grabbing the U6 guy up who got nutted. It's like, what are they doing that? What the fuck? Where are they doing that at? We don't know. And again, there's another video here. I might do a separate video on it, but you see this one here. So John Fury, again, watch this. So John Fury's here. So you can see there, John Fury's the one who steps in. So they're there. John Fury steps in. John Fury's the one to engage. John Fury's the one pushing him back. So John Fury's busy with his head, if that makes sense. He's the one going around there in Saudi and, and feeling empowered enough to be assaulting people. This is assault, yeah? If I go to a boxing fight and I'm team music and I wanna say my guy's gonna knock your guy out, I've got the right to say that. That's not fighting words. That might be the truth. That might be your truth. Same as me, for example. I could sit here today with someone from Music's team and tell him, Fury gonna, your dude too soft to the body. He too small. That's gonna be his ass. Yeah? That They're not fighting words. That's just the truth. And the same for Music's team. Music's team can say, hey, greedy belly, you're getting punched up. That don't mean we've got to fight about it. Music and Fury are gonna fight about it. And John's got the clout where if he really wanted it like that, ring Turkey Salomon Prince Shake up and tell him, hey, I want to fight this guy for music team. Put it on. You know you're going to put it on. You know that. You know on Tyson Fury's next fight, John Fury versus ABCD for music team could be on that card, right? We know that. In fact, it'd probably be more than halfway up the bill, right? John Fury on any card is going to be more than halfway up the bill. Yeah? So, who knows? Turkey Shake Salomon Prince Salomon, he might even... Put it on a headliner, who knows? The point is, Fury's got that, he's got the the clout and whatever else to be able to actually set up fights for himself and make money. If he wanted these guys, don't be headbutting dudes when you know security is around and you know you've got the advantage, you know you're 50 dusties deep. Don't be doing that, it's corny. It's not godly. It's beyond not godly though, it's like, it's, again, it's like insecure. Insecure old man behavior. When you're, there's nothing worse than an old man who's insecure. That's the honest truth. Young men, it's kind of like you learn in life or whatever, but an old dude, a 60 year old dude who's been and seen it all and he's still insecure and still trying to get little, do you know what I mean? Still trying to catch plays like this. It's like, oh damn, that's a bad look. Who want to see their granddad behaving like this? I don't. Do you know what I'm saying? I just don't. I'm trying to think now. Imagine your granddad behaving like this. It's like, whoa. Is that the caliber of stock I come from? That's a violation. It's a violation to come from the stock. Do you understand? The most feral and nefandaral stock. Just the most basic stock. And it's not even the fan nefandaral, yeah. You like to think that they're more like animals. They're just running it everywhere. Yeah? They're running it everywhere for the booty and the food. But he ain't like that. He's not even a real Nathanderal. He's just corny. He's a predator. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So yeah, the security, they pull... Watch this bit here. I want to illustrate as well what I mean by when I say that John Fury is a predator. Because 
John Fury knows who he can get away with this with and who he can't. Yeah, he knows that. John Fury is not a goer. Do you understand? He's not a man who will run it with anyone. He's not a man who really wants to fight. He's a man who wants to abuse. So, I said earlier that team the the cats in Usyk's team they were like they were a bit uh, what's the word sweet, yeah. They weren't Ukrainian mafiosi as such. They weren't goers themselves. These guys look like teenagers. So watch again. So the security just pushed off Team Music, or this guy here from Music's team. And you can see this guy here jumping in. Look, this guy here, this guy here with the green. He jumping in. Oh, you trying to look? Look, this cat here. He like he look. He politicking. Oh, look at, I mean, look at the guy. You know he ain't gonna do nothing, right? So John Fury, he's not stupid. He see this guy here and this guy here, and he think, oh, they sweet. Yeah, they those are two men who I can get off on and look good on social media on. Same with this other guy. The other guy here. This guy look about 70 year old. Again, someone's granddad. Someone's dusty Ukrainian granddad right here. And look at Team Fury like, again, pack of dogs. That's what we're dealing with here, people. Yeah? Pack of dogs. Simple as that. Look, Team Music's team, well, Team Music, they are much more calm and chilled. It's John Fury the one deciding to engage a head headbutt. This guy here is just essentially holding his ground. In Texas, they have a thing called... Is that Chris Eubank in the cut there? Is that Team Lights getting in the cut? No, it's not. So, Team Music here, they're standing their ground. In Texas, yeah, they've got a rule called... It might be Florida as well. Certainly in the South, either way. They have a, a law called Stand Your Ground. And if some dude pulls some corny shit like this on, on your property or in your personal space, you're liable to spin their block for them. Expeditiously. Using the... What is it? The Second Amendment, whatever it is. Whatever amendment that means you can get busy with. Yeah? You, whatever amendment it is, listen. The Stick Amendment. Yeah? The, I think it's the second. 100%. That is your right. God gave you the right to light someone else up. Like at their birthday. If they think something's sweet. And try and get in your personal shit. And that's what this situation required. Hey man. Hey judge. This dude come with his big old head. And he tried to do something with it. And I lit his ass up. And that's what I don't like about politically speaking. Because if this cat here, yeah, had a pulled a blicky out. And shown John what was really sweet. All the, f all the bare knuckle guys would have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was uncalled for. Yeah. Oh, it's a crime. That was murder. No. Keep your hands and your shit to yourself, man. That's how I feel. Even one of these cats, particularly the other one, who got headbutted, yeah. More time. If he'd have one of them USA budget imports, what they call it, the Ukraine bill imports for them sticks, the blickies, yeah? If this cat here had had the blicky with him and shown John what was really sweet, yeah, you best believe it. All these guys would have turned to politicians. All these Team Fury guys, yeah, who thought there was something sweet would be turned to politicians. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, that's, I don't rate that though. If you're gangster, be gangster. If you do get lit up, that's on him. Yeah? If it was my dad, I'd say, listen, man, he tried some gangster shit. And it went left for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's on him. That's on his old ass. He old, my dad old enough to know not to be doing dumb shit like that. Nothing, dude. Right? And now he lost his life. That's a big oopsie for him. Yeah? Him and God need to word it out. If he's mad about it, that's on him. Yeah, he's stressed now. Oh, he all, all sorry for himself in a pool of blood on the floor. All silly looking. No one else asked him to put himself in that situation. And that's the kind of justice that should, should exist today, yeah? In every aspect. People mind their business. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands in the car at all times. Yeah? Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. Lack off the bell, 100%. No doubt about it. Stop it.